Hi everyone, Adolfo talking. Here is Fostering Lingua. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So, here is Adolfo talking, like you saw over there, and we're gonna have the first part ever of our new series, which is aimed for intermediary, intermediate, or advanced levels in English. And here we're gonna see some of the literature works and while we talk about those literature works we will be giving you some ideas of how to work on uh, words or something that you maybe don't know in the English language. Some words, some different expressions, while we read a very good book. Alright? So let's try with this first one that I chose for today, which is The Wizard of Oz. Have you guys ever seen the movie or any story about The Wizard of Oz? So we have, of course, uh, adaptations. You have a very iconic and famous song, which is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Way up high. So that is a very famous song adapted for the movie. In the Wizard of Oz. So, with no further ado, let's start it. Here we have the part one of Wizard of Oz, and let's go for the beginning. Chapter one: The Cyclone. Little Dorothy lived on the Great Kansas Prairie. So here we have the new ja. A little different word, prairie. So, how do we see? What do we know about this word, par prairie? Prairie is a very close word to fields. So it's just a new detail type of fields. We're talking about a very beautiful place with a lot of grass, like a grassland. All right. Let's continue one. Um, she lived with Uncle Henry and Aunt M. Uncle Henry was a farmer. Maybe you know the word farmer, and you can see on the picture here as well. Uh, a farmer is a person who works in the farm. Always, uh, when you have, sorry, here, when you have this ER, you're talking about someone who does who acts for example in this case a farm has a farmer someone who lives in works in the farm so it's the farmer um, let's continue on here so we have Aunt M was his wife the house their house was very small it had only one room. There were not many things on it. There was a table, a cupboard, three or four chairs, and the bed. What is a cupboard? You can actually see by the, the idea of using the word board, um, something that you can put stuff in, and the word cup. So that cupboard sometimes is also said as cabinet here too. So it's a very close furniture to what we know as cabinets. Near the house there were neither trees nor flowers. On the right and on the left there was only the great grey Kansas prairie. Even the grass was not green but grey. So like I said it's a grassland. In this case the grass was not green. They said the grass was grey. Let's continue on for the next part here. Here we have Uncle Henry and Aunt M worked all day. They never laughed. What is a laugh? It's a smile. So let's put it over here. A laugh is a close relative of the word smile. Close to smile. They had no time to laugh. 
they began to work early in the morning and stopped late in the evening. But little Dorothy often laughed. She laughed because she was happy. She was happy because she had a dear friend. It was Toto, a little black dog. Toto had long hair, small black eyes, and a funny little nose. Toto and Dorothy ran and played all day long. One afternoon, Uncle Henry was at the door of his house. He looked at the sky. The sky was not blue. It was gray, like the prairies, right? Dorothy was on the yard with Toto on her arms. She looked at the sky too. Dorothy did not like the gray sky, that gray sky. Suddenly, suddenly is something that happens on the moment. Suddenly, a storm came from the east. The sky was very dark now. Uncle Henry cried out to Aunt Em, who was in the house. Normally, the word cried out is when you scream to someone or you want the attention. So, cried out can, very, can be very close to the word yell or scream. Okay. A cyclone, Em. A cyclone is coming. How terrible! He ran off to look after the cows and the horses. Aunt Em came to the door and looked at the sky too. She was frightened. Very different word, right? Frightened. So this word frightened is very close to the word scared. Very close to that. Let's continue on. She was frightened. Yes, a cyclone is coming. She cried to Dorothy. Quick! Dorothy, run into the house and stay there. I must help Uncle Henry. And Aunt Anne quickly ran off. She just went away. Dorothy ran into the house with Toto in her arms. And that moment, a strange and terrible thing happened. The cyclone lift. What is lift? This is the, the, the verb for lift. Lift lifted the little house into the air. Then it carried the house very, very far away. Little Dorothy did not know what to do. It was very dark in the house and she was frightened too. She wanted to cry. What will happen to us? Little Dorothy thought. Minute after minute passed. Hour after hour passed. I must wait and see what will happen, the girl thought. Now I shall go to bed and sleep. So people normally don't know the word shall. Shall and past tense is should. So shall looks like the word will but a little bit uh, lower as would and should also work in the same way. So, show, not a common word for people, but yes, it means the present tense of the word should. Normally, it's used to say, I have an obligation to, I have a moral standard to do. She got up, found her bed, and lay down on it. Lay down. Toto came up and lay down beside the bed. So, Let's see what we have here. Here is the chapter 2. I believe we can do chapter 2 not today but other day as well. So guys, that was the first ever video that we did in this sense. So I hope you liked it. I hope you had some vocabulary here to exercise. I hope my pace of talking is also good for you. And we can see each other next time. You can tell me on the comment on the comments if you want to know a little bit more about Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz or if you want to go to another book and try to dissect books which are not like this or different books. Alright, so thank you all for coming and here I go.
peace out. Goodbye.